We're going to create a new directory for our Follow the Rising Sun install, so here we go. We're going to create one, call it FOTRS Ultimate. Rockin' Robins with the continuing install Follow the Rising Sun in Ubuntu. We go to our strong box here. We're going to copy the entire directory here, everything in it. And we're going to do a little trick that only Nautilus in Ubuntu can do and Windows can't, but you can do it in two steps in Windows. It's no big deal. You know how to do it. We're just going to, in this case, we can say copy, select the directory, and boom, it does it. And we are going to continue to do the pause trick here so you'll not be as bored as you really are. Copying all these files into the Follow the Rising Sun Ultimate directory. Boogie, boogie. Had a little break there in the uh, series, and that was because uh, FOTRS Ultimate kind of demanded some time there. It started out as a crisis and ended up as tremendous opportunities and just barely ripping loose from that today and getting this continued as we watched the 20,057 files copying from the pristine directory into the ultimate directory. And in fact, we're making a complete uh, new installation of uh, Silent Hunter 4. And there we go. It be done. Now you remember that the lockbox is locked, so all these files are locked. So we're going to have to uh, right enable everything here. So let's right click, choose properties, we're just saying Windows. We're going to go to permissions here and see that uh, group can only access the files. Let's change that, create and delete files. And then we're going to change the permission for the enclosed files. There we go. And we're going to make it so that they can create and delete files there. Uh, change, the, change the settings. It's that fast in Linux. I pity you poor Windows people. And now we're ready to start making changes. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, multi-sh4. What we're doing right now is making a separate directory in our My Documents folder for Fall of the Rising Sun. We're going to use the three letters FRS is what we're going to do. Now we're going to go up to Large Address Aware. We're going to make, uh, you know, make the program available. Now make sure that you choose the correct directory. You can see it says FOTRS Ultimate. Choose SH4, open it. Check to allow for uh, up to two, you know, more than two gigabytes, and commit that thing. Successfully, yes, it is. Now we'll go up to JSGME, and we're going to let it do its thing. First of all, it creates the mods folder, but we're going to do, generate a snapshot of the game files. This way, from now on, if we uninstall all our mods, do a compare, and it says nope, we can do what we just did and recopy from the. SH4 pristine directory back into here and have certified original copies. Fall of the Rising Sun is about 3.3 gigabytes unzipped. Uh, it's right on the edge of the ability of JSGME to handle. And it doesn't do it reliably every time. So make sure you do this and do the backup. Again, we're using the pause function so it's not as boring. You're not as bored as you really are. Know how in Linux all of this is working identically to how it works in Windows for the most part, except for when we're using programs like Nautilus, which don't appear in Windows, and of course we're doing the Windows Explorer tasks with Nautilus in it. There are little differences, but whenever we're using the Windows programs here, they're identical. Here it is, the snapshot is done, so we can close it. Now let me show you how these different directories work with the goal. around here in the mods folder and there's the directory we just made for that's the mods folder for jazz 
now let's go to the uh, directory on the C drive. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the uh, we're going to go to the uh, uh, documents folder here. My documents. You can do it. You know how to do this. Really, this guy's never done this before. So there you go. Yeah, that's how, that's how you do it. And look, there's GFO. There's SH4. And there is Follow the Rising Sun. Each of these have separate game, save game files, they have separate mission data, they have separate everything so that they never get confused on your hard drive. Plus you can have these all able to be used at one time, but you can see all the save games, game player settings, everything is totally separate between these different versions. So with uh, Silent Hunter 4 you can install once and then make as many directories as you want for different game installations. And that's how it goes. Just continue looking through the different directories here. Thanks for joining us, and I promise the next video will not be too long. Uh, we're going to be actually installing some mods and making it run.